Well, I'm doing a little bit of model prep on this sheet metal part here. This is a little shelf that is some stamped sheet metal and it's fabbed up and hemmed over but it forms a little shelf that goes into a desking component. But my client has a dimension. If I flip this around like this, you can kind of see these radial cutouts right here in the bottom. I'll zoom in a little bit. See this little radial cutout here. And there's one symmetrically opposite on this side here. And the width between the centers of these arcs is very important to my client. So I'm going to do a little model prep and I'm going to be capturing these. Um, these circles, but what I wanted to show you guys today is how you anchor circles. So I'm going to go here to creation of a circle feature. I've got this icon right here. Uh, if you don't have the icon visible, you can still find that under the measure pull down menu, features, create, and then down here is circles. I do kind of bury that down there in the in the menu structure here. So I'll click on that one on circles. And I'm going to give this a name. Let's call this, um, I'll call it cutout one. And then I'm going to pick it from the CAD. This is what I wanted to show you guys, though, is that, let me zoom in a little bit more. Now, when I go and choose this from the CAD, if I go pick with this here, notice that it doesn't, here I'm clicking with the left mouse key, it is not letting me click that as a circular feature on that cutout. So not really sure why. Maybe it's because it's not a full uh, 360 degree circle. So um, the only thing I've got left to try then is to anchor. So we're going to anchor this cutout here, this little arc. So here's the trick though. I wanted to show you this. Let me zoom in just a little bit more here and kind of rotate. So once I punch on anchor here, notice the options that show up here. You can pick the closest vertex by using the shift key. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to push on the shift key right now. See, notice that my, uh, my cursor's turned to a pencil. So I'm going to push the shift key now, and then I click with the left mouse key. Notice that it picked a point right on the wireframe, and my shift key is still down. So I'm going to come up here and left mouse key. Okay, it just put another point on the wireframe. And then I've still got the shift key down and I am close. I clicked again. Okay, so three clicks will get me that cutout, um, that arc. Okay, then I let go of the shift key. Now look at this. So the diameter is a 1.2 inch cutout. Okay, and that makes sense. That's what the drawing was calling out too. So anchor, um, anchor that on there since I can't pick it as a circle from the CAD. Now let me hit the space bar here. So it turns my cursor away from the pick tool. I'll scroll on over here and I'll do it one more time on this side for you guys too. So I'll zoom in. Good, so I'm still on, it's populating now to cutout number two and I'm still on anchor method. So I hit the space bar here, turns me back to the pencil. I punch on the shift key and I'm still holding it down. Left mouse key, my shift key is still down. Punch on the left mouse key. And then one more time on the left mouse key, boom. Okay, then I let go of the shift key, and then I'm gonna hit close on the circle features here. But notice this, so it still snapped it to the circle or that arc, it's still got, uh, got a diameter of 1.2 inches. Now I've got um, the X and the Y and the Z component, and they look similar to what I saw on the other side as well, because I am symmetrically opposite with this, uh, with this part. I've got a coordinate system that goes right down the middle. But that's the trick when you guys use the anchor method, is to hold the shift key down, because then your, uh, your snap tool will go right to the wireframe.